So it's an absolute glorious winter's morning here on the banks of Loch Lomond and I've got a little beach to myself, a private little beach because I've actually got here by kayak and I'm on a little island. The reason I chose to come here on the kayak is I came fishing yesterday and I was doing feeder fishing on the kayak and all the popular spots yesterday morning they were all gone on the main bank. So I thought, what better way to find a spot that's secluded, no one generally fishes it, and when I was out yesterday I managed to see a spot that was relatively close to the, this bank, and I've got 30 feet of water, which is the sort of ideal depth of water this time of year, it seems, for the roach hybrids, etc. And it's relatively close in, it's only about a 40 yard chuck and that's allowing me to fish a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter feeder. So what I did to start up was I baited the area from the kayak using my bait bomb that I made myself and I marked the area with a float which is out there now and that is my target casting area. And I probably baited up an area about the size of a snooker table about 10 big balls there, mixed ground bait, just a cereal based ground bait, some dead maggots through it, some tinned frenzied hemp, and that's it. Like I said, I'm fishing a relatively light feeder. I've got a 20 gram uh, pressed in distance feeder, which is the weight forward, and I'll show you that later, and I'll show you the whole setup later. But it's an absolute glorious morning. Yesterday, uh, on the kayak, I thought it would be easy fishing from the kayak using the feeder, but it's not. Even at anchor, the kayak was constantly moving and there was hardly any wind. So it was either slack line, tight line. And I ended up with 20 roach. Which on a winter session is pretty fair, for me anyway. Surprisingly, there was no big roach about. And... They were ranging from fingerling size up to about 8 ounce. Which really surprised me this time of year that there were so many small roach about. But it has been mild of late. I also had my first Loch Lomond hybrid yesterday, which was about the pound mark. Nice little fish. Unfortunately I didn't get any footage of that. It was a total miserable day yesterday. Uh, it was just that low cloud, fine rain. The camera was constantly wet. And that's a fish on guys. That was a superb bite. Really aggressive. There is a little ledge here so I've got to keep my rod up quite high as I'm bringing it in. Just a little guy but such an aggressive bite. Beautiful little roach, fin scale perfect, shining in the Scottish sunlight. Now finally off the mark, in a relative short period of time, which has been really unusual for my sessions. I haven't done a video for a while but I've had about several sessions out in the bank, feeder fishing, and the bites haven't come quickly, and the main thing of my feeder sessions has been patience, perseverance and just waiting it out and sometimes the bites won't come in until the last hour of daylight which seems to be a prime time.
but that was quite good, half an hour and I'm on the fish. Hopefully there's not too many of these small guys. But this time of year, I'll take it. I'm fishing uh, quite a large hook today actually. Fishing a size 10 and that's a Preston N30. It's got a micro barb on it. Really good hooks. And I'm not fishing all that light a leader or a hook line. I'm actually fishing 7 pound fluorocarbon which is a free flow fluorocarbon from Preston that's a Preston distance feeder I've taped it up just to keep the bait in as much as possible so it can get to the bottom and this is a a little sliding rig twizzled loop and I've got a this hook length is actually a metre long and I've got a metre and a half of 12 pound fluorocarbon which is basically my uh, my rig length I'm fishing direct braid and this is 0 0.12 millimetre braid and it's the Guru Sensei really good, really expensive for 150 metres you don't get a lot for your money but it's a nice line and it's probably the finest diameter feeder line on the market. At £24 at 0.12, I think it's fantastic. Anyway, get this baited up, get out again. Wait, wait. This feels like a, a nice fish. For the braid I can feel every shape of its head. So sensitive. I think there's a weed bank there. Get a bit bigger about seven ounces, but absolute beautiful fish.
the little guy. Well, the bites are coming quite consistently, not long after the feeders hit the bottom, but they're all small guys. Just put on a small dendrobina, a little red maggot, just to see anything else in the area, maybe a green, maybe a hybrid, you never know. The only hook baits I've got today is I've got maybe a dozen or so small dendrobinas from a wormery. Live maggots, and I had dead maggots which I put in the initial feed and I dropped it the kayak. I've got some chopped corn that I've been putting in uh, every sort of second or third feeder pool. Just for a different fleck of colour, really. Uh, and like I say, you never know, there may be a few bream about or hybrids, or I may even tempt a larger roach. I've got about three hours left of the session. I've done not too bad, I think I've got about eight or nine roach so far. But all pretty small. Six, seven ounces and below. fun all the same on a stunning winter's morning. For those of you that don't know, Loch Lomond is a huge expanse of water. It's the longest body of fresh water in the UK, nearly 27 miles long and angling on the loch is pretty much such game fishing, predator fishing, perch and pike and the coarse fishing a lovely bite on the worm. And the coarse fishing on Loch Lomond is really underestimated. There's an abundance of species from roach, dace, perch, pike obviously, bream, hybrids, rough. Uh, there may even be chub because there's chub in the rivers that are close to here. And some say there's barbel. Never seen any being caught, but some say there's barbel in the lock. There's also powin, which is a landlocked heron, and there's probably other species that I've failed to mention. But like I say, that really is underestimated. For such a huge expanse of water, Loch Lomond for coast fishing, access to the bank is really quite difficult, and there's not many spots that you can get access to the bank. It's been cast cleanly without having trees or bushes at the back of you. That's why I thought, get on the kayak, do a bit of exploring, some remote islands, away from other anglers, which are predominantly pike anglers from the bank, and see what happens. And I'll probably do that through the year, just explore different areas and see what other coarse species I can catch on Loch Lomond. Another little guy, 
been a bit quiet for the last hour. This is a welcome sight. Smaller. So glad I wasn't on the kayak today, it was blowing an absolute heat. Bike straight away, I'm not even tightening up yet. An absolute beautiful fish. Stunning roach. Probably about 12 ounces. Absolutely beautiful. Biggest one of the day. It certainly seems to have livened up a bit with a bigger size roach. That's one nice roach I've had. And I've had some really good bites, proper pool rounds that I've unfortunately failed to hook up on. I'm getting bites again as soon as the feeder hits the bottom. Sometimes not even able to tighten up onto the line, tighten up onto the feeder before the next bite. This feels like another nice one. Well, they're all nice, but decent size. Not as big, but absolutely perfect. Certainly a better stamp just now.
for some days moved into the swim now, so I've actually cut down on the loose particles. And I'm just feeding ground bait, just to see if that helps. Didn't seem very big, but it gave us certainly gave it a rattle. Just another stunning little roach. A little bit better as the light's fading. Absolutely beautiful condition. I've actually just started going past where I've baited up. Just to see if the fish have backed off a little bit and uh, obviously resulted in a, a nice boat. a slightly better stamp of fish hanging off the back of the feed.
bikes already. Just slowly tighten up. Until I get a slight curve on the rod and the quiver tip. Bite. This is like the biggest fish of the day if we get it in. Send that weed now. Absolutely stunning roach. Probably just under a pound. Fin perfect, scale perfect. Absolutely cracking. Well guys, I've had an absolutely awesome day today here on Loch Lomond. I've had this little venue to myself, or this little area of Loch Lomond to myself. Yeah. Could only manage that obviously by the kayak. But yeah, some stunning fish. I've had about 30 fish. Uh, some small ones to start with um, at the start of the session. And it wasn't until the light started to fade I got some bigger ones. You know, some really nice wild Scottish roach. And yeah, had a brilliant day. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time on Piscator UK.